personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is my official post fight review for Austin Trout's Bare Knuckle BKFC debut. It was special. Now, don't mind the Naruto poster in the background. I'm not home right now. It's been a very weird day for your boy BT. But we're remaining professional and we're still giving you guys that world-class content. Now, Austin Trout. Now, first of all, I remember hearing about this fight a long a long time ago. Like uh, him fighting in BKFC. Never did a video about it. And then I was sitting here and I was like catching up on some work. Catching up on some YouTube shorts and stuff like that. And then I was watching the Showbox car, which I got a video coming out about that soon. You know, Adriel Holmes and Villarreal, you know, whatever fight. And then my boy Daniel Rubin, you know, shout out to him, Pro Box Promotions, Pro Box TV, the fine folks over there. He hit me up and he was saying, yeah, I'm about to watch Austin Trout fight right now. And I said, word, Austin Trout? So I said, okay, let me let me, let me go put Austin Trout on. Let me, let, let me go see what all the fuss is about Austin Trout in his little BKFC fight. So I, I tune in and oh my God, I don't, I don't know how old Austin Trout is now, but Austin Trout was moving and grooving like it was 2014. He was out there, you know, throwing the up jab he was bobbing and weaving turning him making this dude reset his feet stepping around him throwing the straight left hand he dropped him with a straight left hand and, and this guy he fought i guess he's an ex mma fighter or whatever and he beat this dude to a bloody pulp and it, it got to the point where like if, if the referee would have allowed it to continue this guy would have gotten you know maybe killed like austin trout beat the piss out this dude so it was crazy austin trout in boxing at the top level is really a, a washed up contender. But in BKFC, Austin Trout is Pernell Whitaker. Austin Trout is Manny Pacquiao. He's Pernell Whitaker. He's Floyd Mayweather. He's all these things in one. So he wins his BKFC debut. Good for him. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that he made some good money. Um, I, I like the fact that, you know, he he, he, he looked good and he, he, he did himself proud as a representative of the sport of boxing tonight. So shout out to Austin Trout. You know, uh, New Mexico stand up, you know, uh, got mad love for New Mexico. Even though I've never been there, you know, one of my good friends in boxing, Angel Leo, is from New Mexico. So shout out to New Mexico. Um, now, after the fight was done, they had uh, Luis Palomino. Now, I know who Luis Palomino is to a point. I'm a casual when it comes to this BKFC shit, so don't crucify me in the comments. I'm a casual. I'm a, I'm a boxing guy. I'm a boxing guy to the core. Boxing purist to the core, right? And... Um, Luis Palomino is apparently like a big deal. He's like the pound for pound king. He's like the Roman Gonzalez, Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather of like BKFC. And the guy is like the lightweight champion and the welterweight champion. So now they're trying to match up Austin Trout with Luis Palomino. You know what I'm saying? And you know, listen, after what I saw tonight, Austin Trout, like I told you, he's, a, he's like Pernell Whitaker. <laughs> he's Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather all in one in BKFC because... BKFC is a much different sport. These guys aren't as uh, fine-tuned and as as nuanced and as skilled as a boxer is, per se, right? So it's like they don't have the footwork. They don't have the, um, the, the different layers that a boxer has to have at the top level, you know? So they're going to look, in some cases, unless they can really land a big, hard shot, they're going to look amateurish if you put a guy, even like Austin Trapp, who's seen better days, in there with them. So um, I can't really speak on Luis Palomino because I've never seen him fight. I just only heard about him. I heard that he's like the real deal. So I'm probably going to have to go talk to my boy Kevin Gleason down there at Beta Bay because he's like the BKFC MMA expert that I know the most. So I'll probably be picking his brain about who the hell Luis Palomino is soon. But um, that's the news. Austin Trout, he's old, but he's still moving. He's still grooving and he's still beating dudes, knocking them smooth out, beating them to a bloody pulp. So I can't lie. This is the, this Friday. I mean, today was like a really weird day for me. Uh, David Adelaide fought in a mismatch fight, but he got a big knockout earlier. You know, um, Adriel Holmes won a very lackluster fight. Uh, there was a card down in Miami that I was supposed to go to that didn't really have like the best uh, matchups on paper. So it's like I didn't even think about Austin Trout this whole week. And Austin Trout on this Friday, February 17th, 2023, he... He done wound up like stole, stealing the show. He stole the whole show. He stole everything. So um, I guess I'm going to be following Austin Trout and BKFC. I mean, I'm not a BKFC guy. This will not be a, BK, be a KFC channel. But when it comes to Austin Trout, 
how long he's gonna fight in BKFC, I guess I'll be following him. So uh, shout out to him, uh, New Mexico's very own Austin Trout back in the wind column, back you know, reminding people why he is who he is. So uh, yeah, make it that what you will. But Austin Trout beating up MMA fighters and looking like Pernell Whitaker while he's doing it, uh, knocking dudes out, beating them to a bloody pulp, turning turning the dude's face into a jack o' lantern. So uh, yeah, make it that what you will. Make sure you guys. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.